Barbecue TV. Hi, Barbecue TV. Barbecue TV. Hi, Barbecue TV. Barbecue TV. Welcome to Barbecue TV, South Haven, Mississippi. James Lantrop, your barbecue chairman. I am Heather Soriano. I'm Miss Mississippi for 1999 and 2000. And I am here with newfound friends enjoying the South Haven Spring Fest. And we've got good food and entertainment. The world's best barbecue ever on the face of this earth and certainly on this side of the Mississippi waiting for me to devour. And also we will have Charlie Daniels playing tonight and Jerry Lee Lewis tomorrow night. So if you haven't already made it this way, it's five dollars. It's worth it. Come on out. They're judging this year's entries. Uh, as you can see, we've got two tables, six judges each. These folks are doing hamburger at closest to you. And at the far table, we've got the chicken. Uh, our kids arrived as early as 7 o'clock this morning to start cooking. And uh, as late as 9 o'clock, we had an entry show up at 9 o'clock, and they got their entry done, and they're, it's over here and being judged. Uh, judges here are all volunteers at Spring Fest. They are not certified judges. Every one of these folks is acting as an ambassador. They're helping the judges get to the adult barbecues later on to judge them. Uh, over in the corner we have a DJ from a local radio station, 96.1, that's Andrew. And uh, we just dragged him out just to give him a little bit of exposure, have, have some barbecue. Uh, it was a good competition so far this year. We'll see how the judging goes and got a lot of happy kids right now. How do you prep your ribs for Marinate them in uh, half barbecue sauce and half uh, uh, orange juice, and then we pull the inner membrane off, rub them, put them on the grill, cook them at about 180 to 225 for about five hours. And ready to go. Can you touch them after you put them on the grill? I turn them all side down and leave them until they're ready to serve them. Direct heat or indirect heat? Indirect heat. We always put them on the indirect heat. You use a water pan or a water pan and we put uh, apple juice in the water pan and we cook with charcoal or put a fruit wood on it and get a little bit of a, a sweet taste from the, from the smoke. And that's uh, that's what we do. We got them all right now and we should be ready about 12 o'clock. Cook your shoulders, uh, ribs, that's what I like to look with uh, anything but. What'd you turn in for anything but last night? I had uh, hickory smoked salmon, curry, kai, uh, with shrimp on top. My goodness. It, it, it was excellent. No doubt. And today, even knows I'll come back and get something to eat. All you want to eat. What time's your first turn in today? Uh, my first turn in is 11.45. That's just your shoulders. And then one o'clock for my ribs. And then, you know, after that, y'all come and get something to eat. Okay. I can't take it home. <laughs> what do y'all, what do y'all, how do you cook your ribs? Uh, my ribs, um, I soak my ribs like six hours in applesauce, I mean, I mean apple juice. And that's that, I have my own rub that I didn't sit for an hour. And that's that, 
I put it on the grill, I let it cook so I get my color that I want to. Then when I get my color, I sit there, I put it out, I put it, I wrap it up, put my spite onto it, I cook it directly on the, on the fire, and I pour it back off, and then sprinkle my rub back on it and give it to the judge. And it, it takes a long time, you know, you know, preparation for a real is more than anything else. What temperature do you cook your ribs at? By the temperature I cook it, I cook it probably 225. Yes. Or about uh, uh, two, about two hours. Two and a half hours. Wet heat or dry heat? Or? It's dry heat. It's all dry heat. You base them when, you, when you're cooking them? Yes, sir. What's in your base? What's in my base? It's it, it, it just been no, 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 uh, just a wet rub. <laughs> okay. Yes, and you are? Mike Curry. Curry Instruction Watch Cooking. And where are you from? I'm from Horn Lake. Uh, we marinate them in a marinade we use. And the rub we put on them, we rub and then we cook them for about six hours real slow. With indirect heat. We got a glaze we glaze them with so that they're real pretty. And they're just meat just falls off the bone. Proud of our ribs. What temperature do you cook the ribs? 222 degrees. 220 degrees. The grill can hold that yes. particular temperature. We got a bump that, that we use on it. It's just on it that, that digital. Tells us the temperature of the rack where the rib is. I don't, that, that, that up there just gets the temperature of the general other right area, but that digital is clamped clip right to the rack where the rib is. And that tells us exactly. Keep, yeah, but keep, keep it between like 218 and 225. So I like to keep it 222 most of the time. Yeah. And we watch it real close. It's a pretty even temperature across the whole yes. surface of the grill. Right. We have a water pan over the firebox. And we have that firebox and we got a trough under it that lets the smoke come out and go over. It's all indirect heat. There's no the channel plate in there so any grease that falls up doesn't fall in the fire, so there's nothing gonna catch a fire. We're gonna, we're gonna burn. That's a store ball grill, but we modified it to do what we wanted it to do. Wonderful. These were left over last night. And they're still good. I've been in a camera all night long. This is breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champs. Barbecue like is not just for breakfast anymore. That's right. We wash it with me. Oh, oh, I didn't right. think you were supposed to wash it. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't kick you about that type of problem. She found that tablecloth at my aunt's house that we had to put in the nursing home. My wife was down there getting stuff out, packing it away. She found it in a cellophane bag that had never been used. It's got farm animals on it. The name of our booth is Barnyard Roasters. So she said that's perfect for the barbecue booth. So we used it. We don't go anywhere without it, do we, Brian? Nope. Brian, just good luck. Eventually, we'll fight. We, you know, some people take casualties or whatever. Eventually, I'll just put them back out. The young will take casualties. We'll take some people to take casualties. If they were just going to take like a wound or something, we'll walk around and take a shot. And we'll just take a shot. And then we'll just take a shot. And then we'll just take a shot. And then we'll just take a shot. Yeah, I dare you. 
This is the Firefighters Combat Challenge, toughest two minutes in sports. We're looking to be at the Spring Fest here in South Haven, Mississippi. We have approximately 100 competitors that will be testing the best of the best here. And uh, for those people who have never seen this, this is something that you'll really enjoy. The, uh, this is an uh, arduous profession, firefighting. And uh, this really does showcase it so people can see exactly what it does for firefighters. And uh, another way for them to gauge whether or not they're in shape. The uh, contest is composed of five events. First, they're in full turnout gear, breathing air just like they would be going into a structural fire. They ascend the five-story tower with a 45-pound pack on their shoulder. When they get to the top, they deposit the pack into a box. They reach over the rail and pull up a 45-pound donut roll. Once they're through with that, they come back down the steps. They hop on the Kaiser Force Machine, which is a 165-pound sled that they drive five feet. After that, they go approximately 140 feet through our delimiters, a serpentine course, and then they grab a nozzle on the end of an uh, inch and three-quarter hose, drag that. This is a charge line. They, they drag it 75 feet, and they hit a target. And then the last event, they proceed to a 175-pound dummy and drag it 100 feet. All this is done, the top competitor, in one minute and 25 seconds. Unbelievable. This one we have teams from Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, and we have some individuals as far away as Wisconsin, and we have one from Rheinstadt, Germany, that we, a competitor that we saw at the Chiefs convention last year that uh, must have some kind of Memphis connection, and he's back home, but he's going to compete here as well. Welcome out here to uh, 2000 Spring Fest in South Haven, Mississippi. Today we're uh, GIs and Fred Airborne just linked up together. We heard there's a patrol out. We're going to go out and test and see their strength on it. Uh, we know they're back off to the rear side. They've got bunkers, fox holes built up, and uh, we know they got German 88s. So what we're going to try to do here in a few minutes, we're going to try to push them out of those, capture Germans. But we need some information from them. So what we're going to do is we're going to advance on them. Uh, it's going to be a bit hot and heavy there. But I know we've got the 88s. We brought in the pack 75s. Uh, when everything goes well, we'll be capturing quite a few Germans and everything. And uh, as far as that, all the reenactors are here from all over the United States. Uh, we got some as far away as Chicago, uh, military vehicles from Texas, um, guys all over. My name is Don Johnson, and uh, Robert Munch is one sponsors of the uh, World War II reenactments. Uh, couldn't ask for a better day to do it. It's beautiful. We'd like to welcome y'all come out. Thank you. Police car with an old hillbilly with a shotgun. 
came in to break up the wedding, and then uh, I couldn't marry her, then I, I got his daughter pregnant. So. Friday night of Spring Fest is our visual anniversary, whatever night it falls on. I was married here uh, at the barbecue team in 93. We had a wedding on the site. Uh, Wizards of Q, Pyro Pigmaniacs, and the Smoke and Star Lifters were the three teams involved. Um, I had a western wedding. I came in on a stagecoach. Um, some friends on the Sm Smoke and Star Lifters came in on a, in a police car one with a shotgun and another one dressed up like a pregnant woman and interrupted it when the judge says, does anybody object? We did not know this was going to happen. <laughs> so it, it was a shock. <laughs> um, my husband says we celebrate our anniversary every South Haven Spring Fest on Friday night, no matter if it's in a, uh, 1st of April, 1st of May, um, it's always at South Haven Spring Fest. We were uh, putting the sides down on the cooker yesterday when uh, a monsoon came through and one of the uh, arms f falls out and I was standing right in the way and it hit me in the eye. Hi, my name's Mark Gardner. I am uh, chairman of the commission South Haven Spring Fest. Uh, on Friday night with Charlie Daniels Band, we sold 8,000 adult tickets. We sold 4,000 children tickets for gate sales of 12,000. We had approximately that many also or more passes coming in with the barbecue thing. We're estimating our crowd last night for the Charlie Daniels show around 30,000 people. How about today? You got any estimates for today? Today, uh, we're actually in the middle of shift change right now for our first shift. Uh, but with Jerry Lee Lewis coming on tonight, we're expecting just as uh, good a crowd as we did with Charlie Daniels. Adults is $5, children uh, ages 6 to 12 is 3, children under 6 is 3. What kind of rub is that you're putting on? Uh, dry barbecue rub, flavor right. Flavor right, that's, that's a local company, isn't it? Yeah, born later. How many ribs that one pound bag cover? Uh, it probably cover one bag cover six slabs. Good. How many pounds of ribs y'all gonna cook today? Hey. Probably 60 pounds of rib, at least. I cook them, I rub them with a rub and cook them for about an hour and a half, two hours. At what open, temperature? Open grill, about 350 degrees. Okay. Keep turning them, then I take them off, put the beer on, when you fall, wrap them up, put them back in the grill for about two hours. When you pull them off, they'll melt them out. Mm. And, you, and you cook them after you put them back on at the same temperature? Yes. I can't stand All right. <laughs> you, you favor one particular kind of beer over another? Beer is beer when it comes to beer. All right.
ahead and spring fest is given to each of the teams that participated in yeah. our contest this year. Just a little thank you. Oh. That's nice. Looks like cutting board. James Lantrip, South Haven Spring Fest Barbecue Chairman. Welcome to South Haven, Mississippi. information on and off the web. BarbecueTV.com has webcast barbecue competitions with barbecue cooking tips by winning competition cooks. BarbecueTV.com publishes a subscription email newsletter with competition information and recipes. BarbecueTV.com for cooking videos, sauces, 